Hey, this is uh, Patrick Wilson from ImageQuix. I'm going to be walking you guys through a quick demo of our Blueprint shopping cart software today. Uh, before I dive in, uh, just to give you guys an idea of, you know, in a nutshell, what our Blueprint shopping cart is. Uh, it's essentially just an easy, intuitive way to get your products online and ready to be ordered on. With one-click data and images flow to and from the shopping cart and to the lab for print. Uh, one thing I always like to mention is that Blueprint is compatible with both Windows and Mac uh, computers. I'll go ahead and dive in here. All right, so upon logging in, you're gonna be brought directly into your account dashboard. This is designed to kind of give you at a glance how your studio is performing with just some generic financial numbers that you can see up here on the right that can easily be toggled from one year to 30 day. Um, you'll also see uh, that you've got uh, your lab fulfillment options here. So any lab fulfillments uh, that are assigned to your account, whether that be one or multiple, you will have that listed here for you. Uh, the first part I'm going to dive into is our shopping cart tab. So uh, really the way I typically go through these demonstrations is to kind of show the setup phase and then we'll kind of move into creating a job and show you what it looks like inside the job. If we move into our shopping cart template here, we've got our managed cart templates. So this is going to change the general look and feel of, of what your customers are going to see online, just your general settings that you've got uh, to apply on there. Uh, we have a great custom form builder. So what this does is a great way to create any kind of uh, custom forms for your customers to fill out for uh, you know, a pre-order, for example, to be able to easily assign those pre-orders to the correct subject. And then you'll also see here that we have our discount code creation. I'll dive in here to our cart templates. Again, we always encourage you to have as many different ones as you'd need, uh, depending on the needs of the job. We'll go ahead and dive in. Uh, you can see we've got a wallpaper here. There's 20 or 25 preloaded in here. This is just kind of a backdrop wallpaper of what uh, mom's going to see when she goes online to place an order. You can see we've also got a little button, black button here for you to upload your own. Uh, the main other things here, just some customizable messages to be able to convey any messages that you'd like to uh, to your customers based off of the different state of the job as you see right here or with the thank you message that pops up as soon as uh, mom places her order. We've got a great watermark tool as well. You can use text, image, or in some circumstances if you have a job that you do not want to watermark, you can certainly do that. Um, and then these next options are shipping and handling and tax options, which are pretty straightforward. Um, but hopefully that gives you guys a decent kind of rundown of the shopping cart perspective. Again, what this is, is, um, you know, kind of what mom's going to see and the experience that you're setting for her to see when she goes online to place an order. So what our My Designs tab is, is essentially a place to create all of your custom designs. So I'll go ahead and show you an example of a pretty standard memory mate here. Uh, you'll notice here over on the left hand side that it is a uh, Photoshop-esque product builder and that it's a layered approach. So you've got background, images, foreground, and text as your top layer. In this case, the background was uploaded as a PNG, so it's perfectly fine as a foreground. If you look over here, you can see kind of the starting uh, design in terms of what was initially uploaded. And then essentially what you have the ability to do is apply image nodes and map them accordingly and apply text nodes and map them accordingly. One thing to note is that these custom designs will just be sent to the lab as a flattened JPEG. Obviously, there are many more features of our My Designs tab that we can dive into later if you'd like to learn more. So the next part I'm going to dive into here is our price sheet section. I'm always super excited to show off our price sheet section. Um, there's a lot of really great ways in here designed specifically to generate more revenue for your studio. Um, again, you can have as many different price sheets as you need. You'll see right off the bat here that we've got our categories listed over here on the, on the left hand side. Uh, the first category right off the bat is something that I'm always happy to show off. Uh, what this is is essentially the ability to lock down categories with purchase criteria. In this case, it's set to uh, basically give mom uh, an incentivized mom to hit that $40 threshold and unlock one of these two items for free. If we move down to our other categories, that would typically be packages and a la carte specialty items. Essentially what you'll be doing is just pulling over from your lab catalog over here on the right hand side over into your price sheet to build out your packages uh, however you'd like. Uh, real briefly, I did want to mention here that we do have custom thumbnails, which we always recommend. 
And then you can see the other options that we've got down here as well in terms of uh, package configuration. The two that I did want to hit on in terms of functionality perspective is the ability to create build your own packages if you'd like to set constraints for your customers to work within and your image configuration options. So what this essentially is the ability to do is the ability to limit poses and upcharge for more. If we move down to image options here, it's very similar um, in terms of if you want the lab to fulfill your image options such as retouching, you can easily pull from their catalog which will be listed here. Um, you can certainly set it up to uh, have retouching uh, be fulfilled by yourself. It's basically going to create a queue in our fulfillment tab uh, for you to be able to uh, do whatever retouching is needed and then it'll knock off the queue as you complete those tasks. I'm going to move on over to our jobs tab now. Um, I wanted to go ahead and uh, kind of walk through a new job setup and just kind of show you guys what that looks like. Uh, if we move in here and we'll do test job A. Uh, we do have different types which you can select. This is great for your own internal organizational purposes within your studio. Uh, you'll see here just some general configuration options. We've got pre-order, green screen. These are both options that you'll want to select prior to creating the job. And then down here, one dimension, this is where you're going to add in that price sheet that we just configured in addition to your cart settings that we just configured. So we'll go ahead and create the job. It's going to bring us directly into an empty job. Obviously, we don't have any subjects on this job at all. Um, first thing we're going to do is walk through our job settings here. Um, you can see if we move down here to our order fulfillment, this is where you can uh, select your start direct shipping date, choose whether you want to hold your orders for manual release and bulk your orders. Uh, we've got our scheduling tab here, so this is great to use from both a strategic perspective in addition to um, you know, your own internal organizational purposes. We've got a welcome message here. This is very similar to the messages that we uh, looked at in the shopping cart tab. We've decided to make this one a job level setting. Um, in order to make it a little bit more customized uh, on the job level. So, you know, for example, if you wanted to show uh, a school's logo up here, you can certainly do that if you didn't want to uh, show your uh, studio logo. We also have the ability within Blueprint to uh, allow your customers to choose their own yearbook pose. You have the ability to set whichever number of poses you'd like them to work off of and then uh, enter a message that'll, you know, obviously give them a due date for, for them to work within. One thing to note is that obviously as it relates to the due date, the due date is only for your students to and your customers to work off of as opposed to um, you know, anything on the back end. On the back end, you can change that at any time. So if we move into, I'll go ahead and dive into a different job here. Um, there's one that's got a little bit more substance in here. One thing I always like to mention is that we do have both a job level dashboard in addition to an account level dashboard so that way you can get some specific financial numbers uh, for on the job level as opposed to just your account as a whole. If we move into our subjects tab here you can see we've got all of our list of subjects over here on the right. They've all got 100% unique online codes assigned to them which Blueprint creates and generates for uh, each individual su subject which are guaranteed to be unique. We have some really great filter options here for you to be able to use um, and work off of, whether it be filtering to show subjects without images, if you need to export out a list, um, or filtering by camera to read into the serial number. Uh, we also have the ability here to uh, hide images, so you don't have to go to the effort of deleting images out of the job. Say a kid sneezing or um, you know it has their eyes closed or something like that, um, you can easily just hide that image and it will not be shown on their shopping cart. You'll notice the uh, data and orders are over here on the right hand side and that's a pretty consistent theme throughout Blueprint is the ability to see images, data and orders all within one place or at least one click away. So if we click over here to our orders tab, I can show you an example of what one of our sample invoices is going to look like. Uh, obviously in your case it'll have your own studio insignia here um, and it'll give mom and any other customers you have you know, a great breakdown of exactly what they're receiving and what the different fees are that are applied which you all set yourself. Um, it's super easy to switch a job from active to inactive. So you can see up here on the right hand side, this job is currently inactive. You can easily switch this to active and we'll sync it. Just like that, the job's online ready to take orders. The last little piece I did want to show you guys um, is the uh, find a subject button. So this is a really great tool from a customer service perspective. Um, essentially what it allows you to do is globally search your entire account for instances of a subject. So that way if uh, Emma's mom calls in, 
You can easily search Emma, find any instances of Emma within your account. You can use the job create date and the job name to go off of. And then essentially when you click on it, it's gonna bring you right into that subject's uh, listing. So that way if mom calls in and needs the online code, you can easily provide that. Um, or if she needs to have the order invoice resent, you can easily uh, resend the invoice email. So there's a lot of really great functionality within our Blueprint shopping cart tool. Um, I'd love to show it off uh, even further. Um, obviously, this is only just a snippet of what it's capable of, but I uh, wanted to give you guys kind of an overview um, of what it what it looks like and, and how it works. And uh, feel free to reach out to support at imageclicks.com or sales at imageclicks.com to learn more. And uh, we'll be happy to assist. Thanks so much.